and with ESPN right smack dab in the middle of that remains really the glue that holds the cable bundle together. Uh, and live sports programming in particular is going to continue to be a driver uh, for all video packages, whether it's the ones that exist today or the future. As far as how you will get sports content in the next five to ten years, I think it will largely look similar to how it looks today with some new models uh, on the uh, peripheral, if you will. You see the advent of skinny bundles and over-the-top offerings and so forth and so on. I think those new offerings, if you will, will supplement the traditional uh, cable bundle, which I believe will be around for a long time to come. The pace of change in the industry is phenomenal, and, uh, all brought about by digital technology and the Internet, uh, more choice for the consumers uh, than ever before. It's never been a better time to be a sports fan, uh, in my opinion. And I think that the industry together will continue to find ways to serve its customers. ESPN3 in particular is a perfect example of ESPN's mission coming to life. As we televise more events, particularly from Europe, that are coming in during the you know, day hours, uh, work hours, and people are at work, we wanted to make it available and through internet distribution, whether you're using a laptop, a desktop, or a, you know, a tablet device, it's, ESPN3 is a perfect example to serve fans who want to see what's going on. Wimbledon is a great example of uh, the two weeks of coverage that comes in from the world's greatest tennis tournament, and you can have access to it wherever you are. More people are watching more video on more devices than ever before, and it's an exciting time to be in the media business.